This is a good song to sing if you're, th if you're depressed, you know. Have you seen the old man in the closed down market picking up the papers in his worn out shoes? In his eyes you see no pride, hands are loosely at his side. Yesterday's paper is yesterday's news. So how can you tell me you're lonely? You say for you the sun don't shine. Now let me take you by the hand and I'll lead you down the streets of London town. Show you something that'll make you change your mind. Well, have you seen the old gal in the closed down market? Dirt in her hair and her clothes are all in rights. She's got no time for talking. She just keeps right on walking, carrying her home into brown paper bags. So how can you tell me you're lonely? You say for you that the sun don't shine. Now let me take you by the hand and I'll lead you down the streets of London town. I'll show you something that'll make you change your mind. Now in the all-night cafe at a quarter past eleven, same old man, he's sitting there all alone And he's looking at the world over the rim of a teacup And each tea lasts an hour and then he wanders home alone So how can you tell me you're lonely? You say for you the sun don't shine well, let me take you by the hand and I'll lead you down the streets of London town. I'll show you something that'll make you change your mind. Now, have you seen that old man outside the Seaman's Mission? His memory's fading like the metal ribbons that he wears. And in our windy city, the winter shows no pity One more forgotten hero in a world World that doesn't care So how, how can you tell me You're lonely You say for you that the sun don't shine But let me take you by the hand And I'll lead you down the streets of any town I'll show you something that'll make you change your mind. Streets of London, I love that song. Now this, this, this next song, this next song is called There She Goes, She's Bitching Again. Now I did not write this song. I've been accused of writing this song. This was written by Rodney Carrington. What, you don't want to hear this one? It's short. <laughs> Let's see. There she goes. She's bitching again. Saying the things she's heard from all her friends. It don't matter what I do, where the hell I've been. There she goes. Bitching again. I could make a million dollars, put it in her purse. I could buy a big old mansion, but things that just get worse I could lasso her to moon put it with her stuff but she'd want to know where was Neptune cause the moon ain't good enough there she goes she's bitching again saying the things she's heard from all her friends it don't matter what I do where the hell I've been there she goes Bitching again. I could paint the Sistine Chapel or win the Nobel Prize. You see, I could build the Wall of China, that'd be nothing in her eyes. 
opposite. I could write the whole dang Bible and read it to her twice. She want to know why the yard ain't mowed and the fridge don't make no ice. There she goes, bitching again. Saying the things she's heard from all her friends. It don't matter what I do, where the hell I've been. There she goes, bitching again. Now, I did write a verse about the men, about how when a girl walks by, all the blood goes out of its head into its penis. Yeah. But last time I played that, a bunch of people walked out of the bar, so I'm not going to play that one. <laughs> we're going we're gonna to save that for another night. Now, this next song, I did write this next one, and it's just a cheesy little song. Um, it's about, you know... Well, you'll hear what it's about. It's called uh, With the Stars in Her Hands. Whoa. Fingers aren't working yet. Well, a rich, lonely woman with money she'd found. She lived in this penthouse high above the ground. She detested her life and all the people hanging on, so she decided to take things in hand. She took off her dark glasses and she looked toward the sun. She climbed down from her high horse and stood on the ground. She took that short journey into the unknown and she came back with the stars in her hands. She came back with the stars in her hands. It was like someone would do just to be kind like a hug from a friend you've known a long time why hold on to what makes you so blind you'll come back with the stars in your hands you'll come back with the stars in your hands you see her eyes shone brightly when she returned clutching the wisdom that she had learned so let go your secrets let go your lies, you'll come back with the stars in your eyes. You'll come back with the stars in your eyes. It's like someone would do just to be kind, like a hug from a friend you've known a long time. Why hold on to what makes you so blind? You'll come back with the stars in your hands. Little song. Yeah. Uh, all right. All right. I don't know if I should try this one or not. But oh, All right. This is called What Is Your Proclivity? Now, I have to kind of set this up. I wrote a song a little while ago, um, and I played it for my wife, Carol, and I, after I played it, she took me by both shoulders, looked me in the eye, and she says, don't you ever play that song ever, anywhere. So I thought it was a pretty good song. But she made me sign a paper promising I wouldn't play it. But I realized that some of the lyric from that song fit this song, so I'm kind of found a loophole here. It's called, What Is Your Proclivity? Well, what is your proclivity? What is your desire? What is it that turns you on? What lights your little fire? Is it something really kinky? Is it something fun? Is it something I've never done? Well, you know, the first time is the blueprint It sets your future course The vibrations from the Harley seat Or the bouncing of the horse So to each their own, let's have it Tell me what you like I can saddle up the pony Or fire up the bike Is it something really kinky? Is it something weird? Is it something I should be scared? Let's see, you know, missionary's kind of boring. Doggy can be fun. Pile driver hurts my neck. 
can I spank your little bum? Is it something really kinky? Is it something new? Is it something we can both do? LGBTQIA Are you straight or are you gay? Need to know before we play What is your proclivity? Is it something really kinky? Is it something fun? Is it something I've never done? Okay, what is your proclivity? There's a few more verses. He's an original guy. That's the right. Was that that long thing? There's, there's some other verses. But, uh, what was it? Katie's gay? <laughs> Let me see. Let me try this one. I'll do one more real quick. Here. This is uh, Gary Lewis and the Playboys, 63, I think. This time in Ray. No, this is uh, Save Your Heart for Me. Oh. This is uh, with a little, with a little addition. Someone new, have yourself a summer fling or two. But remember, I'm in love with you, and save your heart for me. But when the summer moon is on the rise, and you're dancing under starlit skies, please don't let the stars get in your eyes. Just Save your heart for me When you're all alone Far away from home Someone's gonna flirt with you I don't think it's wrong If you play along Just don't fall for someone new That's not the advice I gave my girlfriend When she left for the summer I was much more pragmatic I said something like uh, if some creepy guy grabs you by the thigh expecting some sort of thrill i don't think it's wrong if you play along but then whack him really hard right in his testicles when the autumn wind begins to blow and the summertime is on the go you'll be sending that guy limping home just Save your crotch for me, darling, save your crotch for me. Yeah! All right, I'm out of here. Good couple, everybody. Come on! Save your crotch for me. Oh, yeah. Thank you, Jim. Thank you, Jim.